Good morning children. Today again we will continue with the same chapter the early Vedic civilization. Political organization. The Aryans were organized into many tribes called Janas. Each Jana consisted of a number of villages called Gramas. A Grama was composed of a number of families. Each village was headed by a Gramani or the village headman. Each tribe had its own chieftain or Rajan. The ablest and the strongest man in the tribe became the king with the consent of the people. He protected them from enemy enemies and looked after their welfare. He was also acknowledged as their spiritual leader. The king ruled according to the wishes of the tribe. He was assisted by a number of officials. The Prohita performed religious ceremonies and advised the king on important matters. The Senani was the commander-in-chief of the warriors and led the forces during war. The Rajan did not have absolute power. Two councils called the Sabha and the Samiti exercised control over the king. The Samiti was a large assembly where any member of the tribe could give his or her opinion on important matters concerning the tribe. The Sabha was a smaller assembly of important members of the tribe. They advised and guided the king. Women also took part in these assemblies. Social Life Family Life The Aryans lived in villages. Each village was composed of a number of joint families. The head of the family was the Grihapati, the eldest living male member. His decision was final and binding on all the other members. Food The Aryans ate simple and nutritious food. Wheat, barley, maize, fruits and vegetables formed their staple diet. They consumed milk and milk products. They were fond of honey and intoxicating drinks like soma and sura. Meat was eaten occasionally. Position of Women Women enjoyed an important position in society. Monogamy was the usual practice. They were given opportunities for education. Some women scholars are believed to have composed some of the Rigvedic hymns. Monogamy It is the custom of being married to only one person at a particular time. No religious ceremony could be performed unless the wife was present. Women could choose their husbands in a ceremony called Swambara. There was no child marriage and widows were allowed to remarry. Swambara means the ceremony in which the women could choose their own husbands. Recreation The Aryans were fond of outdoor activities. They enjoyed chariot racing and hunting. They also liked music and dance. Indoor activities like dice and board games were popular too. Dress The dress of the Aryans consisted of two garments. The lower garment was an unstitched piece of cloth like a dhoti, tied around the waist. The upper garment consisted of a light shawl. A turban-like headgear was also worn. Both men and women wore ornaments made of gold, silver and precious stones. Religion The Aryans believed in one supreme power such as the creator of the universe. They worshipped the different forces of nature as gods and goddesses. Indra, the god of rain and thunder, was the most important god. Agni, the god of fire, was next in importance. It was believed that Agni carried messages to heaven in the form of smoke. Surya, the sun god. Varuna, the god of water. Vayu, the god of wind. Soma, the god of plants. Prithvi, the goddess of the earth. Usha, the goddess of the dawn. And Yama, the god of death. Were some of the other gods worshipped by the Aryans. All these gods and goddesses were supposed to be different forms of the supreme being. The people recited prayers in praise of these gods for good health, for the birth of sun and for cattle. 
the early vedic people did not build temples or idols their gods were worshiped in the open air by chanting hymns and making offerings of grain ghee and milk to them the yagnas were performed by the brahmanas the entire family took part in yagnas and other religious ceremonies